Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Adam Estes. He's the Hart County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Ms. Joanna. Well, I'm glad you're here with us today because we're going to talk a little bit about creep feeding. But for people who might not be familiar with cattle, could you explain what that concept is? Creep feeding is just giving or providing supplemental feed to the calf while excluding the cow. At about 90 to 120 days of age, milk only supplies 50% of the nutrients needed for that calf to achieve maximum growth. So the other 50% has got to come from some other source, if it's pasture, hay, or grain. And a lot of times it's a good idea not only to get those extra pounds of gain on that calf, but we're also teaching that calf to eat grain. It also promotes uh, rumen function. You know, it helps develop that rumen for later on in its life. And what's the mechanics of that? There's multiple different ways that you can creep feed a calf. You know, we've got the creep feeders that you can buy uh, any ag industry store uh, that'll hold anywhere from 350 up to three ton or even six ton of feet. Um, you can buy those. They have gates on them that only the calf can pass through. Uh, I know I've seen several instances where people have just built their own. Uh, in a sense, you can buy the gates themselves and, and then they set up their own pen where the calf can go through that gate. They can have access to grain. They can ac have access to hay while the cow does not. To start the calves off, you want it close to wherever the cows are eating at or, or maybe drinking water from. If, if they're strictly on pasture, then you might put it close to a water source. Uh, if they're eating hay primarily, then you want to put it near where the hay's at because where the cow's at, it's where the calf's probably going to be at too. So, you know, they'll eventually find their way into that. Now, one thing we always try to point out that if, if you feel like the calves are eating too much, uh, then you can adjust that placement, you know, move it further away if you need to. Now, is creep feeding recommended for all calves? Not necessarily. Uh, you know, we want to look at it from an economic standpoint. You know, is it profitable? Is it economical to do that? Um, you know, a few instances where it may not be economical is if you have really good milking cows, if you have really good pasture, um, or if you have a high percentage of heifers that you're going to keep for replacements. Creep feeding heifers can sometimes add too much fat around the udders, which could affect how much milk they produce down the road. Yeah, so it's really important to know what groups of animals you have and separate those out if you do choose to creep feed. And when would be, you talked about making sure it's the most economical. Feed prices are high right now, but if they're looking at, you know, a shortage of hay or there's certain times where we probably really need to look at creep feeding. Right. Uh, you know, we want to know, it, it's got to be profitable for us. Um, feed prices are high. Cattle prices are also high right now. Uh, so we've got to look at it. We've got to pencil it out, kind of. Uh, dry weather, drought, uh, low milking cows. you got a lot of first calf heifers or really aged cows. You know, maybe their milk supply is starting to diminish a little bit. Uh, you know, instances like that, uh, they can definitely be profitable. You mentioned grain and, and feed, but are there a way to kind of creep graze calves? Is that something that people maybe could look into? Oh, definitely, definitely. You can... Uh, you know, if, you, if you've got stockpiled fescue, for instance, um, if you're using poly wire to strip graze those cattle, you know, we want to use that pasture efficiently, so we strip graze. Uh, if that's the case, then you can set that wire high enough where the cows can't get past it, but maybe the calves can slip under it. Uh, or if you've got an adjacent field of maybe alfalfa, wheat, any kind of other cereal crop that might be growing this winter, um, you know, that's really good high quality stuff. You could set a creek gate up in, that, in, the, in the gate of that field. Calves can pass through, the cows cannot. But what if people have questions? What resources are available or who should they contact? Contact any of your county extension offices. You know, we've got resources that we could point you to, uh, ration calculators. Uh, you know, first thing we're probably going to tell you is, is to look at your hay samples. You know, if you haven't pulled a hay sample, let's pull a hay sample. Uh, we can help you with that. We can contact specialists uh, to help us, with, help us with that as well. All right, Adam, we certainly appreciate you visiting with us today and for this information. And make sure if you have questions to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day.